So this is the reference shot of a beech tree in sunlight. The beech trees behind Killerton House in the gardens. I've done quite a lot of painting in Killerton's gardens over the years. It's a beautiful National Trust property and the gardens are particularly lovely. With lots of examples of trees and different shrubs and particularly rhododendrons. So uh, well worth a visit if you're ever in Devon. Um, but for a painter it's a great place to visit too because there's lots to look at and lots to paint at each different time of year. I laid in the painting first with a line drawing and uh, I started working generally from the bottom upwards. Um, particularly like the bottom of these trees when they got covered in moss. Uh, the greens are very vibrant. I'm using Winsor & Newton Artists watercolours and um, synthetic round brush here. I've also got some Chinese calligraphy brushes which I like to work with too and um, I find they hold a lot of water and uh, really satisfying to use because you get a variety of marks with them. Although this one that's on the video at the very moment is a synthetic round. As I paint I'm trying to be conscious of the different values to emphasize the light. I'm also trying to be conscious of warm and cool colours and keep the background quite knocked back. I don't really want the background to play much of a part in this painting. It's all about the tree and the light on the tree. Um, the foreground can be built up a little bit. There you see my palette. Um, and this is a midway through the painting. And um, this is my setup. Just got a sloping board, old coffee jar to uh, use as a water pot. And uh, that's one of the Chinese brushes there that I'm using just to do some fine work. They have a great point and um, occasionally lose a few hairs which is a bit of a shame but uh, they're quite inexpensive but lovely brushes to use. I'm working in a Hannah Mill sketch pad. Paper's fairly lightweight but I'm not putting a lot of water on there with a fair bit of dry brush and just very light washes which it can take quite easily and a um, good book to work outside with, um, quite good for working with acrylics as well. I have a smaller one which I do that quite often if you've seen some of my other videos. Probably worked on this sketch for two to three hours and um, overall just use three brushes, fairly limited palette of paints. I'm using a rigger here to do some of the fine lines and uh, I used a little bit of body colour just to pick out a few of the white twiglets that um, were coming off some of the bigger branches just to give it a little bit more uh, light within the dark because uh, sometimes if you don't do that it can look a bit dead and um, just keeping the whole thing fairly free but tight centre of focus um, where the light falls. I hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe.